10 out of 10. <laughs> mm, I don't really like it. Would you get, get it again? No. <laughs> mm, you, you have to get one of these yeah, if you ever come to Amsterdam. So we are in Amsterdam for the weekend and this is our first time in the Netherlands. So we have two goals for this weekend. One, we want to see the tulips and second, we want to try all the food here in uh, Amsterdam. So for our first stop for food, we are here in Hoofdorp, which is close to where we're staying. And we got some French fries. Well, these are special. These, uh, the name in Dutch is like patatschi, um, or lock or something, but it translates to uh, war fries. Mm. So it has a mayo and a uh, saute sauce and chopped onions. Okay, so let's go ahead and give these a try. Mm. Wow, that's, that's really good. So first you have like the savory mayo and then the the satay sauce is supposedly like a peanut, like Asian sauce, but it's really kind of sweet too. So that's a really good combination with the salty, crunchy French fry. And I loved how in this restaurant, they just had all the fresh fries that they just cut and just throwing them into the fryer so you know that they were coming right out of the fryer and they're hot and fresh. So I think I would actually give these a nine out of 10. I think these are really good and this is something I would definitely order again. So, let's see if Maria wants to give this a try. Okay, so I'm not a fan of onions, so I'm gonna try and get one without the onions, but I might not be able to. Let's see. Mm. Okay, I see the, the taste of the peanut sauce that Lucas is talking about. And the mayo. This is pretty tasty. At first, I didn't think it looked that good because of all the onions but very good i would rate the fries at an eight i love that the fries taste fresh and they're crunchy and really hot and a perfect amount of salt but i'm not a fan of that peanut sauce it's okay it's okay but the mayo is really good and i got the truffle mayonnaise so i can't wait to try that okay so with my fries i got this sauce it is the truffle mayonnaise so i'm gonna give that a shot i didn't want to pour it all over my fries in case i don't like it <laughs> mm. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> i love it i think what makes the fries so good is the fries are fresh and crispy and then the sauce just like kicks it up a notch 10 out of 10. So one more thing that we got to try here at this restaurant, it is a veal croquette. So it seems like when I was doing uh, research and looking at videos of things to try, there's a few different types of croquettes or things that are pretty popular, but I think the veal one is kind of the most traditional or the, maybe the most popular one. So let's go ahead and give this a try for the first time. Hmm. The outside is very crunchy. But the inside is very soft, kind of like the consistency of like mashed potatoes. Mm. And, and it looks like it has like small pieces of meat inside of it. It's kind of salty, but savory. Not bad. I would probably give it maybe a seven, but let's give it another bite. Yeah, yeah, I'd say probably like a seven out of 10. Okay, so the only other time that I've had a croquette was in Spain when we went to Malaga. We got croquettes and I really liked them. So I'm excited to give this one a try. I like it. I liked it more than I thought I would. Did you give it a seven? Hmm. I give it a eight. The inside's really mushy. So if you're not into like that mushy texture, which I'm usually not, but the flavor is good enough and the outside's crunchy so it kind of counteracts that mushiness. I think he likes it. I think that's his like... I think he gets it to one. He really likes these reaching back. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you like it? Is it mushy? Do you like the flavor? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you so, eat it again? Yeah. How would you rate it? I'm gonna get it a 20. 
A 20. Wow. The next day we visited the famous Kuchenhof Gardens. They are regarded as the most beautiful spring garden in the world. So right next to the windmill there is a small cafe serving you know, coffee and pastries. And I think the coolest thing is right behind the cafe are these nice tables and chairs. But you can sit there and see all of these uh, tulip fields. So I think that's a really nice view with your, with your breakfast or your coffee or whatever. Okay, so at this little cafe, we got some yummy stuff. We got an apple tart, Lucas got a tea, and I got a cappuccino. So one of the popular things to try here in the Netherlands is the apple tart. So it's very similar like an ap apple cake or apple uh, strudel type thing. So we're going to give that a go. Me too. What's going to taste like? Mm. It's good, just like an apple pie, except there's no pie crust on top. It's just layers and layers of the apple. This one is, um, this one's cold, so it's not straight out of the oven or anything, but it's still really good. I think it would go really good with our coffee. Go. Yeah, it's more like an apple pie. Um, the cake, not, not the cake, well the bottom part is very thick. Lucas mentioned that. It's very thick and the apples, they're really good. They're really sweet but tart and cooked well. I'd give it a, a six. Just because I, I would like it fresher, I think. Like if it was warmer. I think if it was hotter. If it was straight out of the oven, I think it would be, it'd be better. But it's good. After visiting Kuchenhof, we headed into the city of Amsterdam. We made it to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. We are at this really cute cafe next mm -hmm. to the river here. Mm -hmm. We are going to try pot for G's yeah. and a Dutch pancake. This place is called the Pancake Club. We noticed as we were walking through the streets, a lot of the restaurants were closed. And we had a special place to go. It was closed today, which is really annoying, but it is Sunday. So we should be used to that being like living in Germany, but we didn't think such a touristy place would have things closed. We're also going to try their traditional mint tea. They put mint leaves in hot water. So this is very interesting. Um, we've seen a lot of people drinking that here around the city while we were out seeing the tulips. So we're going to give it a try. Okay, here we go. So this is the mint tea. We just added some honey. First I thought it was packet of sugar but it's actually honey so mm, that is very delicious that is good and it's very fresh tasting with that mm. mint Man. oh wow that is really good oh it's so refreshing like you said the mint the fresh mint and the honey oh wow That's really you. good. I it told, is. I told you. I know. I just didn't think it was going to be that good. I never thought of just taking mint leaves and putting it in hot water and drinking that as tea. Yeah. So. And we have uh, mint at home, uh, so now I'm like, yeah. let's. We, let's we usually like to use our mints. We make a, a drink with lemonade that we blend up the, the mint leaves with ice and make like a cold, refreshing mm -hmm. lemonade. But now we have a hot drink that we can make with our fresh mint. I would rate that a 10. A 10 out of 10. It's could, really I could, good. I could read it a 20 and a 20. 20 out of 20. I think I would also give it a 10 out of 10 because it's so easy and simple, but mm -hmm. it's yet, it's really yeah, delicious, just... has a lot of mint flavor. Yeah, I think that's definitely worth it. So get that whenever you come here. Okay, so this is the Dutch pancake. We got the powdered sugar with some whipped cream and strawberries. And then we got some pot for G's here. We have heard that this is the thing to get here in Amsterdam is the pancakes and the pot for G's. So I am so excited to try them and see how good they are. All right. I play one piece. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Mini yeah, pancake. So I saw that this is like a crepe. Um, it's very thin. I saw that I think on their 
it says on here, it says that it's like a very thin crepe. I'll try and one. that's exactly what it looks like. I'm, I'm trying it. I'll try mm. one now. I'll try one now. I'll do a taste bud. Just like a crepe. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll try it. Is it, I want mm. a sugar one. I... Mm-mm. <laughs> I get a 20. Okay, 20 out of 20. You. These look good too. Mm. I like those better. Okay. Why, why do you think they're better? I like how, okay, so I like a thicker pancake. Mm. See, this is thin, which is like a crepe, you know. Actually, it's thinner than a crepe. This, I don't know, I just, I like all that. I love a, a thick pancake, so that's pretty much what it tastes like. It's like a little thick pancake. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, yeah, those are good. Those are mm -hmm. definitely more dense. Yeah. Pretty thick, but yes. yet fluffy. Yeah, that's really good. They kind of. I'm trying to think what, what it reminds me of. Like a it's beignet. Almost, it's almost like, like a, a funnel cake, but it's not, yes. not as crispy. Funnel, it's funnel cake. Funnel it's a lot cake. softer. Yeah. That's exactly right. Okay, now let's go for. Try your pan. Try the pancake. The big pancake. Get it. Oh, it tastes good, Dad. It tastes like. It tastes like. Um. Um. What? A crepe. Crepe. I think I like I like the thin. Yeah, you do. Better. I knew you yeah. would. See, I like the thicker, so yeah. I knew <laughs> I knew we'd be opposite. It's, it's kind of funny how people like their pancakes differently. Yep. Because we we just went to um, Gatlinburg in, mm -hmm. back in the U.S. and there's a restaurant we love to eat at that has pancakes, but they're seriously this so thick. So thick, and they're this so thick. good. One pancake that thick, mm. more like a cake. So, Absolutely worth and it. And you have this that's like tiny. <laughs> yeah. Very thin, so that's really cool. But yeah, definitely would recommend. The Poffergies and the Dutch pancake when you're coming to Amsterdam. We have made it to the highlight of being in Amsterdam the Stroop waffles. These are the number one thing to get here in Amsterdam. You can smell it across the street. For those of you who don't know what a Stroop waffle is, it is a thin, like a waffle cone, like a circle, and then they put warm caramel in the middle put another waffle on top and then here they put chocolate on it and they have raspberries, Smarties, which are like little M&Ms and marshmallows and caramel and blueberries. So we gotta go get one. Okay, so I um, am gonna try the regular Stroop waffle. I wanted to get one without the chocolate or anything on it. So let's, this is like the one you would get in the store. Mm. So good. Mm. Okay, so I got one with blueberries. Um, right now, the blueberries are all rolling <laughs> off because the chocolate is still so hot. Yeah. Um, but let's give it a go. This, I love how these are nice and warm. Mm -hmm. You get the package and you can feel the warmth through the package. Uh. Yeah. The waffle is a lot softer. It's more like crumbly mm -hmm. than the ones you get at like the grocery store. It just like, just crumbles. And Griffin got, we got the marshmallow one. Is, this, is it better than the one we had yesterday? Yeah, much better. Very delicious. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Mm. Oh. Ten out of ten. Oh yeah. Ten out of ten. I'm gonna give it a twenty out of twenty. Hmm. Yeah. Any thoughts? It's it's just so much better getting them fresh than in the store. The store ones are kind of hard because they've been sitting in the package. These are just so soft and the caramel's warm. Mm. You you have to get one of these yeah, if you ever come to Amsterdam. So one thing that is unique to the Netherlands so far that we've seen 
are these little fast food um, stands called Fibo. So it's kind of like an automated, um, automated takeout restaurant where they have these electronic <laughs> bins where you can scan your card and just select which item you want. Kind of like something you, I would think you would see in like Japan or something. But so one thing that we've seen people try uh, is this little croquette, but it's called Bami, B-A-M-I. And supposedly it has uh, vegetables and rice noodles and it's something that's fairly popular like street food or fast food here so we're gonna give this a try for the first time hmm. so it definitely has a crunchy outside the inside I'll show you kind of has like some vegetables and some noodles and totally something that I would not think of doing is putting noodles inside a fried croquette but it has like a lot of Asian spices in it too. Um, I think it's pretty good, but I think I like the croquette, uh, the veal croquette that we had the other night better. At the fried place? Yeah. I'd probably give this like a, maybe like a seven, six or seven. So let's let Maria try it now. All right. This crust is a little darker. Did you notice that? So is it spicy? No. It's good. Not as good as the one we had the other night, though. But it has a good flavor. Mm, I don't really like it. Would you get, get it again? No. <laughs> no. I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's not the flavor. I don't know. It's just something off for me, for my taste. But I would give it a four. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Let me try. This is a little broquette when you try it. This is spicy, but I like it. It's not spicy. The other thing we got is a cheese souffle. Um, it's, I think it's like a fried cheese. They have this in Germany. It's a crusty cheese type of thing. Mm. I like this much better. I mean, it's just fried cheese. I think they, I think it's deep fried, but I'm not sure. So I think we actually had something similar in the Czech Republic. I think they had a fried cheese, but it looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is good. I would get this again. It may have a very thin layer of like a dough or something, but very tasty. I would probably give this like a eight or nine. Yeah, I think I would give it. Daddy, you're eating it all. So that's pretty much it for our time here in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. We got to get back to the airport to catch our flight. Yeah. But thanks for following around with us as we try different food here in Amsterdam. What was your favorite? Mm. See, that's hard because we had all kinds of different types of food. Yeah, I think the stroopwafel was probably uh, my, my Oh, favorite. yeah. Absolutely. That was the best. But I really liked the pot for G's. Mm. I really liked those. That mm. was really good. Yeah. Oh, the fries. <gasps> yes. The, I, think the I fries forgot about the fries. Those. The best savory thing we had. Yeah, we didn't get a ton of savory because we ate too much sweets, didn't we? Mm. <laughs> but, yeah, the fries with the dipping sauces the other mm. night, that was... Mm, that was amazing. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos of us traveling and trying different food in new countries.